here we go. Let's do another live Q&A. Um, this is kind of funny this week. Last week I had tons and tons and tons of questions, like more questions that had ever been asked for one of these lives. I was actually having to turn questions down because there was just too much to discuss in our short time together. And this week, when I shared the question box yesterday, for whatever reason, um, nobody asked any questions, which was fine. I was just gonna take today off and work on some other stuff. But the crazy thing is that all of a sudden, in the very, very, very last minute, all of these questions started coming in. So I had like zero questions for the first 20 hours that the box was up. And then in the last three to four hours, it has been bam, 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 bam. I am gonna preface this with a lot of these questions that I'm gonna cover today are things that I go into really, really deep dives with my students in paid course, in mentoring, and in things like that. So I'm gonna brush the surface a little bit. I'm definitely going to leave you with valuable steps, okay? So this is not going to be fluff. This is gonna be things that you can actually do and take away, but I'm not gonna go into the whole deep thing because that would be, that would take away from what I give my students, right? I know you understand that. So just a brief introduction in case you don't know who I am. My name is Sabrina Get Gephardt. Did I forget my last name? Um, I'm a lifestyle photographer here in Fort Worth, Texas. I've been in business for almost 11 years. I'm an educator, a course creator. Um, I mentor. I am now, I can say, am a conference speaker. I spoke at my first conference last month. So I go live here most Thursdays and do Q&A. All the questions that I'm gonna cover today were asked by you guys, so thank you for being here. And before I forget, uh, in case I forget to mention this at the end, if this is valuable to you, when it shares to Instagram TV, will you share it to your stories and tag me? I love to know that it was valuable and that you learned a lot and it really means a lot to me. So let's dive in. First question out of the gate is, what is a tip for if somebody is predominantly an outdoor shooter, like they photograph families outdoors and they want to start to transition into more in homework. So the what I'm gonna leave you with today is the number one rule across the board, okay? This covers any kind of transition you wanna make, whether you are wanting to go from outdoors to indoors or you know lifestyle to posed or families to weddings or babies to seniors, it doesn't matter. This covers what the question is. It is, you currently do X, but you want to start doing Y. How do you get from X to Y, okay? The answer is simple. You have to photograph what it is that you wanna shoot, and you have to only show that on the internet. Okay, and if you don't want to only do that thing, if you wanna mix it into what you're currently doing, you need to show a lot of it on a regular basis. So what does that mean? If you currently have an Instagram feed that is filled with outdoor family images, you will never get somebody that reaches out to you and says, hey, I like your work, will you come to our house? They're not gonna do that because they don't equate your work with in-home family work. So in order to get images where you have families indoor, you have to do one of two things. You either need to do a model call, not a giveaway. A model call is where you intentionally vet people. You are interviewing people to see if they are a good fit for what you need, okay? So you need to do a model call, and I would do three to five of them so that you have a solid body of work where you are photographing people in home and you are intentionally doing it in a way that matters to you so that you are getting work that you can market for that type of work, okay? So doing a model call. Another option would be to reach out to any families that are already on your calendar for the future or who are longtime supporters of your business, reach out to them and offer them a free session. Hey, I want to start doing in-home work. I don't have any practice or any images to share. I need marketing material. Can I photograph your family at home? Those are the two things. Yes, they both entail working for free. Yes, it is absolutely necessary to do this. If you want to transition from one type of work to another type of work, it doesn't matter what they are, you have to do free work so that you have marketing material. I, you cannot get out there on the internet and say, I'm photographing people in home and think that, that, that you're gonna have your email inbox flooded with people who wanna do that when you've never shown an in-home image before, okay? You have to put out what you want to get in, 
okay? So the more in-home images you share on your social media feed, the more requests for in-home work you are going to get. And when you are transitioning from outdoor to indoor or weddings to seniors or whatever it is, it's gonna take a minute to get that snowball rolling. But the more you show the new thing, the more you talk about the new thing, the more you will get inquiries for the new thing, okay? And then if your goal is to completely back off of the old offering, you don't wanna shoot outdoor at all anymore, that's totally fine, but you need to have a cutoff date of from this date forward, I am turning everybody down if that's what they inquire about, okay? So you need to be prepared for that. You gotta rip off the Band-Aid at some point. Okay, um, that was question number one, which was how, um, if you wanna get more in-home work and you only photograph families outdoors, how do you do that? So that's what we covered. Question number two is, I have spent the last few years focusing on having babies and raising babies and my business has been on the back burner. I feel like I need to relaunch. What should I focus on first? So I have a couple of thoughts here. Um, number one, bravo. It is totally great for you to have put your business on the back burner and leaned into mothering. It's also totally great that you realize and recognize that, th that you're ready, that you're ready to reach for something outside of the home and that you're ready to do the work. That's wonderful, bravo, I'm proud of you, okay? So here's a couple of things I want you to know. Before you do anything, I want you to spend some really solid time kind of mapping out what your goals and your intentions for your business are, okay? Where do you wanna see yourself at the end of 2022, okay? Let's just say you decide to relaunch on February 1st or March 1st or whatever, and you do all the work up, the, up, up to that point and you're ready and then you kick off and things are going well, where do you wanna be, okay? How many sessions do you wanna shoot a month? What type of sessions are they? What kind of clients are you working with? What are you saying no to? What are you not willing to do, okay? What are your rates? What kind of um, support system or support staff do you need? What kind of things do you need to outsource and offload so that you can make this work? How much, how many hours a week will you have to really pour into this, okay? You need to think through all of that before you create your plan to move forward. Because it sounds great to just be like, I'm just gonna do a big relaunch and just announce it and then do this big marketing push. But if you are not careful about where you're going, you can get really off track really fast, okay? That's why we need a map when we travel. So you need to really make a solid plan and start backwards. So you're gonna look at where you want to be and then back into what that looks like, okay? The second thing I want you to know is I want you to pick a hard, firm relaunch date, okay? And I would set it for a little bit out, February 1st maybe, something like that. But you're gonna need time to get all of your ducks in a row first and to really intentionally plan everything out. And if you don't have a hard, firm date, it's really easy to like, well, I got behind in December, so I'm just gonna push it back a month and then, my kids got sick and then we went on vacation, so I'm gonna push it back another month and then it never happens. If this is something that you really want and if this is something that you feel like it is time, the time is now, it, you've got that stirring in your gut, you are ready, you need to pick a date and you need to like circle it on your calendar and then you need to make a timeline from now until then, what are you working on every day, every week? What are things that you wanna get done, okay? Personally, when I um, walk students through a relaunch or a rebrand of some kind, I really love the kind of blasting it everywhere. So if you're gonna refresh your website or your social media or change your name or change any of your offerings or your marketing materials or um, what your body of work is gonna look like, any of those things, you need to get all of that stuff mapped out first. I mean, the website could be live, the blog posts could be live, all those things could be live and you're just not gonna like 
shout it from the rooftops until this big day, okay? And then leading up to your launch day, I want you to make a big fuss about it and really talk about it, that it's coming and you're excited and you can tell the backstory. You can talk about how it's been on the back burner because you've been raising kids and now you're ready to move forward and here's your dreams. You can share all of that stuff. This is great blog post material. This is great Instagram stories material. This is great Instagram live material. Instagram live is not scary, friends. Um, this is great newsletter material, okay? So you're doing all this prep work and then when you do your relaunch, like make a big deal out of it. If you want to do a certain amount of free sessions for model calls or a certain amount of discounted sessions to get people excited about your new offerings or print credits or whatever, you know, um, you can create whatever you want, um, but you need to get people excited about it. But more importantly than any of that is the intentional planning, okay? Where do you want your business to go so that you know what steps you need to take to get there? Because it's, it's two totally different statements to say, I want to have brought in $25,000 by the end of 2022 in photography business. Okay, that's one statement. Totally different statement is, I want to have worked with 25 of my ideal clients, photographing them in home, and they all order product at the end of their session. Two totally different statements. Okay, they might equal the same thing, but they're two totally different statements. And do you see how one you could easily plug in with all these other things that maybe you don't want to do, whereas the other one is a very explicit statement with parameters around it, okay, dictating what you're doing, who you are, who you're serving, and all those things. So make some intentional plans first, but I'm really excited for you. The other thing I want you to know is um, I would really look into some education options in the first quarter. Um, either hiring a mentor, taking a course, joining something or other, um, just to really help that intentional dig deep and to have somebody come alongside you and do it together. Um, my course, The Organized Photographer, will be running again in January. Uh, you can get on the wait list at the link in my profile. It technically will open for registration the first week in January, but there is gonna be like a Black Friday something or other for early bird registrants. So if that has been on your radar, I would um, keep an eye out for that. Um, I also have a freebie, it's called the Business Blueprint. Um, and I think that would really uh, work well for you. I actually don't have a link in my profile right now for it. So send me a DM and I will hook you up with that blueprint, okay? Thank you so much for being here. A couple of things. If you are not on my business newsletter, go to the link in my profile. It is called Lifestyle Lessons. I send out an email most Mondays um, and it's just a, t a short and sweet business inspiration and advice. It's got a few links for you if you wanna you know, get more information on this or more information on this. Generally, I share a podcast episode or a blog post or a YouTube video that I thought was great that week. Um, so get on that list because there's all kinds of good stuff there. There's so much free education on my website, on the blog that people don't even know about and I share a lot of that in the newsletter. Thank you so much for being here. This was another great conversation. Again, if this was valuable to you, when I put it in Instagram, in the feed, will you share it to your stories and tag me? I would love to know that it meant something to you and you learned something from it, okay? Bye now, y'all have a good day.